Leon has been living in his new home in Georgia for a few weeks now, and all is going great. Well, going mostly great. He seems to love the new sand here, and has been in bulldozer mode since he moved here. He's been digging the whole place up. And he ended up digging the sand out from under his cave, probably trying to tunnel under there, and it all fell over. So I pushed all the sand away and seeded the big rocks down solidly on the glass bottom of the new aquarium. Lesson learned. And all is rebuilt and strong now. It's really been interesting watching him shape the whole aquarium bottom into what he wants it to be. He has basically dug a trench all the way across the entire back length of the aquarium and mounted the sand up towards the front. So now he can walk all along his long ditch and barely be seen. It's cool seeing his little footprints all in the sand. He uses every inch of this new tank. I guess you've noticed even with the new sand, Leon's avatar patch is back. Look how clean and sharp it is. The little glass shrimp seem to be doing well and seem to be enjoying the aquarium too. I put seven in here and I've been able to count five at a time, but never more than five at a time. They have plenty of places to hide though. On the first day I put them in, I did find one shrimp in the sock filter in the sump. It was alive and well, and I've checked it often and haven't found any more in there since. So far, I haven't seen any of the three tiny crabs I put in here. I don't know if Leon has chased them down and eaten them, or if they're just really good at playing hide and seek. As a few viewers mentioned in the comments on the last video, a couple of these glass shrimp are carrying eggs. I'll keep you updated when they hatch, and we'll see how they do. Leon's water is very cold, so these girls will probably carry their eggs for a while. Leon is definitely aware the shrimp are here, so maybe these little glass shrimp are finally the entertainment I was hoping the killifish would be. They're zipping around and eating well. This is krill I'm feeding Leon today. <laughs> this glass shrimp catches one on the way down. Yeah, weird, I know. Of course, as Leon eats, small pieces land on his eye. And one of the glass shrimp zooms down and grabs a crumb off his head. After having Leon with me for over a year and observing him and working with him, I have to say he's content overall. He is constantly redecorating. He moved this big rock from somewhere in the tank to here. I guess he likes it there, so we'll just leave it there. 
He's healthy, he seems to enjoy his life, he never spends any time trying to get out of his aquarium, and he seems to enjoy interaction with me. And I have to wonder myself if he needs that to stay healthy. And we do a lot of interaction, which is good. I enjoy it too. Like many of us, he also enjoys having a project, something that takes dexterity and time, like busting into this mussel shell. I'm not sure here if he's showing me what he has, like a little kid, or if he's actually daring me to try and take it from him, his little bento box launch. These days it takes him no time to bust into the shell. He's bigger and stronger. He'll spend 30 minutes or an hour just digging into the shell and enjoying his meal, every bit of it. And then like he always does, he carries his dishes to the other side of the aquarium and dumps them in a pile. Out of nowhere, one day, this piece of food Leon hasn't eaten yet starts moving by itself. It's one of the tiny crabs grabbing a snack, a big snack. And then the next day I see another one. They're here and they're hiding in the rocks and seem to be doing very well. This little crab does seem to know how to stay out of Leon's way. Bobby the Karate Cat, Baxter and Abby are here now too. They're isolated from the other cats. They basically have their downstairs to themselves and the other cats have the upstairs to themselves. I cut this hole through the wall so they can come into the same room as Leon is and visit. This is all until we can get all of the cats integrated. Then we'll open all the doors. One of the many things I enjoy about Leon is I never know what I'll get when I come to the aquarium glass. Some days it's, hey man, how's it going? And then sometimes I come to the glass and he lunges at me like he wants to fight or spar or joust or something. Winter is coming fast here in North Georgia. Leon's tank is 60 degrees Fahrenheit now, or 15.5 degrees Celsius, without a chiller. I don't think I'll need to install the chiller until spring. The plumbing in the new aquarium is all ready for it though when it's needed. One of the many things I like about this aquarium is there are so many doors on the aquarium stand. I can get access to the sump from the front and from both sides. The aquarium also has a mesh cover that keeps Leon from climbing out if he ever tries to, and also keeps things from falling into the aquarium, like the thermometer, cups, salt meter, phone, or whatever. This whole journey and adventure with Leon started out as an experiment and a curiosity. 
what would it be like to buy a live lobster from the seafood section of a grocery store and try and keep it as a pet? All of these episodes have basically been documenting that journey, what happens along the way, and what evolves from it. In Leon's life and in my life, literary agents calling, TV producers, podcasters, love mail, hate mail, requests for Leon merchandise, the two upgrades to larger aquariums, that's all part of Leon's journey from sitting bound up in a grocery store to hanging out with glass shrimp and a bunch of cats today. It's all part of the story. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with anyone you think might enjoy following Leon's journey. Also, if you're looking for cool gifts for family or friends, or if you just want to share some Leon love, go to leonthelobster.myshopify.com for cool Leon merch. This is a funny little story. The other day I was in my local grocery store in the seafood section and I was wearing one of my Leon the Lobster t-shirts and the seafood clerk said, cool shirt, man. I've been following Leon on YouTube too. Apparently the guy even bought Leon from one of these grocery stores. <laughs> I smiled big and said, that's awesome and continued shopping. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.